It's really windy today, so I want to apologize for any wind noise that you might hear before I even get started. Thank you. Hey everyone, so today's video is to talk about a question that I get asked occasionally. I don't get asked it too often, but I know a lot of people think about it if you haul a fifth wheel trailer. And the question is, what is the advantage or disadvantage to going to a gooseneck hitch versus a fifth wheel hitch for your fifth wheel trailer? And I hope to answer that for you today. So what you have to understand about the difference between a fifth wheel hitch versus a gooseneck adapter, which would essentially bolt to the plate here and come down, is where the leverage is being applied to the frame of your fifth wheel when using either type of hitch. So this mounting plate right here, which goes directly up to the I-beam portion of the frame that makes up the nose of this fifth wheel, when using with the standard fifth wheel hitch, is going to apply leverage in a few different areas. First of all, of course, you're going to have leverage here at the front. But because it's positioned much higher than a gooseneck, it's going to be pulling from a different stress point than you would with a gooseneck. When you put a gooseneck hitch on the front here, your leverage and your stress point are focused much lower, and it's going to put far more torque as well as stress on your pin box and this front portion of your frame itself. You can generally tell the difference between how leverage would look. So basically, if you're pulling from your current pin box right here forward, the leverage is going to be applied across this slope right here. And yes, you're still going to have leverage here on this point, as well as stress. However, when you move your hitch point much further down, that leverage is now applied from a much lower point. It puts far more stress on where your pin box and your kingpin are mounted, as well as the frame of the trailer right here. And it creates a far greater stress point across the front forward section of your frame than you'd have using this type of a pin box. One of the major reasons why people like to move to a gooseneck hitch is because it leaves the bed pretty much completely unobstructed. When you have a fifth wheel hitch in the back, it's going to take up a significant portion of the back of your truck. And when you're not towing, a lot of people just don't want to have the hassle of moving the entire hitch to a different position or removing it from the truck just so they can have the space back. Now there are a number of aftermarket pin boxes you can put on your truck. So this specific one is called the Rotaflex by Trail Air. It's actually designed by LCI or Lippard, which pretty much makes every frame as well as frame component for these trailers. Now on this specific one, you'll see that it actually allows the head to articulate slightly or your kingpin to move forward and backwards. And the reason why is because it allows a little bit more flexibility and articulation when going down the road, which can lead to a slightly smoother ride or smoother pulling ride and help partially eliminate what's called chucking when you're going down the road. Chucking is essentially this assembly moving and flexing within the fifth wheel hitch on your truck. Now with the advent of higher quality aftermarket fifth wheel hitches, you don't really have to have an aftermarket pin box assembly. Main reason why is because the hitches now can articulate in four directions, forward, back, and side to side. Whereas in the past they would only articulate forward and back. So one of the benefits people said that gooseneck trailers have is that because you're you're hitched over a ball that it gives you far more side to side articulation so if you're going over rough or uneven terrain kind of like this area here the trailer's not putting so much stress on the hitch assembly whereas the new hitch assemblies now articulate side to side and you really don't have a need for a gooseneck hitch the main benefit of gooseneck pulling is that it's more of a universal platform so if you haul a fifth wheel or if you haul a gooseneck trailer horse trailer things like that you have a hitch assembly that's fairly universal across all of those platforms and again it takes up very little room in the back of your truck whereas when you have a fifth wheel hitch you tend to have a scenario where your hitch is going to take up far more room so the inconvenience of having that there when you're not towing generally leads people to try to find a better alternative I personally do not think it's a good idea to convert your fifth wheel hitch to a gooseneck hitch. Now there are some alternatives to that. For instance, the Anderson hitch. The Anderson hitch system basically utilizes a replacement to a fifth wheel style hitch assembly, which essentially clamps onto the kingpin on your fifth wheel, and your ball is right here. So you don't have a scenario of where you have a long pole that goes down and connects to a ball in the bed of your truck. That 
essentially creates the same type of stress and leverage point as this type of hitch assembly. So you don't run into that scenario of you're pulling from down here, creating stress and leverage across the entire front forward frame section of your fifth wheel. A lot of reasons why frame manufacturers and RV manufacturers will avoid the warranty on a fifth wheel that's been towed with a gooseneck system is because of the additional stress and leverage it puts on this part of the frame within your fifth wheel. So my recommendation is either replace your current setup here with a higher end setup if you're worried about that or get a better fifth wheel hitch itself that gives you the articulation you're looking for. I do not recommend going to a gooseneck assembly. Yes, it is going to give you more bedroom and it's also going to give you more side to side motion, but I prefer the stability that you get by running a traditional fifth wheel hitch as well as a traditional hitch inside the bed of your truck. Mainly because these RVs are very tall and it's essentially a wall going down the road. So when you have a heavy crosswind, you want as much stability control built into your hitch and towing platform as possible. And you're just gonna have more control from side to side motion with the traditional fifth wheel hitch versus a gooseneck. So I'm glad to be out of the wind. I wanna do a real quick recap of the pros and cons of each hitch system. So let's start with the gooseneck since that's what people are generally consider converting to. So the pros of a gooseneck are gonna be that it takes up very little space in the bed of the truck. Even if you need a completely flat surface, you can simply take the ball out of the bed and you have a completely flat surface, less to carry around, less to worry about. Also, it's gonna give you more side-to-side -side articulation. So if you're going over very rough conditions, very unlevel conditions, it can give the trailer more side-to-side -side movement. Now, that being said, there is such a thing as too much movement because the last thing you want is the trailer to have such movement that it can actually make contact with the side rails of your bed easier. Also, it's a far less expensive system. You can generally get a conversion kit for a couple of hundred dollars, which bolts to the factory plate on your RV. So it's a far less expensive setup to get into. Also gives you a more universal platform if you're gonna be hauling horse trailers, uh, gooseneck trailers, other things that can use that same type of ball assembly, but that might not support a fifth wheel hitch assembly. Now I think the cons definitely outweigh the pros in this instance. First of all, you put a significant amount of force, leverage, and stress against areas of the frame of your fifth wheel that just aren't there when you use a fifth wheel hitch. Mainly right at the point to where the overhang connects to the main uprights coming off of the I-beams of your fifth wheel. And this can create a higher likelihood of a frame weld or frame component failing simply because you're overstressing that part of the trailer that otherwise you wouldn't be. Those areas already have a tremendous amount of stress on them, and by adding a gooseneck hitch, you simply exacerbate those and make those areas worse. Also, by adding a gooseneck hitch adapter to many of your fifth wheels, you do take the risk of voiding the warranty of your fifth wheel. Now, if you're gonna to go to a system like the Anderson Ultimate Fifth Wheel System, that's actually a pretty solid system. It does not add any more leverage or stress to your trailer simply because of where the hitch is actually positioned and where it makes connection to the hitch in your truck as well as the pin box on your trailer. Now, when it comes to fifth wheel hitches, there are pros and cons to a fifth wheel hitch as well. The pros are generally, it's gonna give you a more stable ride. You have less likelihood of side-to-side -side crosswind causing an instability in your trailer simply because it makes a more flat contact point and moving side-to-side -side is made more difficult primarily because you're gonna have generally some type of a bushing kit in place to prevent the hitch from articulating as far side-to-side -side as a gooseneck might. Also, you'll have far less stress applied to certain parts of your trailer that you would as if you're running a gooseneck hitch. And probably most importantly, you're not gonna avoid the frame warranty of your trailer if, heaven forbid, something happens to the frame of your trailer, even if it's related to it being a regular hitch or a gooseneck hitch. Main reason why is there are instances of where frame welds have cracked and there were no modifications done. The person did not add a gooseneck adapter to their fifth wheel hitch. And the last thing you want is to have an adapter on your fifth wheel and you take it to the dealership, they see that and they automatically say that's the cause of your frame damage. I really think that the cons definitely outweigh the pros again. 
I do not think it's a good idea to convert from a fifth wheel to a gooseneck on a fifth wheel trailer, mainly because the frame itself was engineered to work in conjunction with a fifth wheel hitch, not the additional leverage and stress that a gooseneck hitch would put on it. I hope this video has been informative. If it has, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and if you could subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments or feedback or even some suggestions, please put them in the comment field below. Thank you, everyone.